All right, did you see it? The stunning phenomenon known as the Northern Lights wowed locals for hours last night. That's right, and while it's a rare sighting, it may be something we can get used to. Here's why. People all over our viewing area treated to a dazzling show Thursday night. The Aurora Borealis lighting up the night sky for three hours of magic. The northern lights are created when energized particles from the sun slam into the Earth's atmosphere. The redirection of those particles creates the colorful ribbons we all saw in the sky Thursday. The phenomenon usually observed in northern territories like Norway, Iceland, and Sweden. But they've put on a show all over the U.S. this year. Back in May, the strongest solar storm in 21 years was visible across most of the country. But why? Forecasters explain that the northern lights have been intense lately because of where the sun is in its 11-year solar cycle. We're at what's called a solar maximum, and with it, an unexpected boost in magnetic activity that's localizing these space storms. While they're magnificent to look at, the northern lights can cause issues, like disrupting radio and power signals. In fact, some are worried about how this most recent display would affect the response to Hurricane Milton. Now, if you missed the show Thursday night, don't worry. Forecasters say things should stay active through 2025 and the start of 2026, so there should be plenty of opportunity to enjoy the magic. And NOAA has an Aurora dashboard that helps you track the Northern Lights. We've included a link to it in this story at 13newsnow.com.